Hello everyone and welcome to episode 6 of the Disguise 2 PC LP. So we're going to pick off where we pick up where we last left off and go into Adele mode. So, uh, here we go. The Netherworld. A lawless world filled with vicious monsters. The number of netherworlds has expanded with the rise of demons, powerful enough to rule such worlds, the Overlords. Now, another world is about to fall prey to such darkness. Are you really gonna go through with this? You don't have to do this, you know. I can go and find Zenon myself. Oh, yes, we do. We've already searched for him and we haven't even found a clue. Besides, we've already finished all the preparations to summon him. Fried dragon, fairy oil, the Shura sword, clown shoes, and a worm bone. Well, it's all here. Now we just need to sacrifice a bit of life energy to summon Zenon. I hope. You just concentrate on defeating Overlord Zenon when he's summoned, okay? <sighs> Honey, this summon is gonna take more than just a little life. We're gonna die! Yeah! Why do you have to use our life anyways? Yeah, yeah, that's enough complaining. We need to sacrifice some life in order to summon Overlord Xenon. Besides, you're all demons. It's a year or two off your life. You'll probably spoil them anyway. What? Don't you want to be human again? Do you want all my hard work over the last 15 years to go to waste? But me and Tarda were born demons. We don't care about being human. Oh, ho, 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 shut up, brat. Mommy still wants to be human again. So be a good little sacrifice now. You call this good mothering? If you really need life energy, you can use mine, you know. Don't be absurd. You're the only human left in this world. Everyone else turned into monsters. We can't waste any of your precious life. I don't like this at all. Using sacrifices is just plain wrong. Only fair fights are worth fighting. That's just my style. Okay, okay, you voiced your opinion. Now get ready for the summoning ritual. <laughs> Did you even hear me? Devil woman? Oh, ho, ho, ho. But I am a devil. Thanks to Zenon's curse, I have no conscience. Spirits of darkness and light. In the name of Adele, I hereby summon Overlord Xenon to his side! What went wrong? 
What happened? Where am I? It's a girl? Well, she sure is cute for an overlord. You've got to be kidding. She's Overlord Xenon? Overlord Xenon? Do you know my father? Father? Wait. You? You're Xenon's... That I am, for I am Rosalind, the one and only daughter of Overlord Xenon. Oh, you can't be serious. Episode 1, The Overlord's Daughter. So, Overlord Xenon has a daughter. You'd think we would have heard about something like that. I can't wait to tell Bridget about this! But how do we know if she really is Overlord Xenon's daughter? Hey, you've got a point. Hey, Toots, are you really the Overlord's daughter? <laughs> toots. <laughs> Man, it's like this game was from the PS2 era. How dare you address me as Toots? Do you not know the proper way to speak to a princess? And to question my lineage, even after witnessing my noble visage? You people are truly deprived. Yeah, yeah, just answer the question. Very well. My heart is as broad as the night sky. Now behold my undeniable proof. Surely you must recognize this emblem of the four-leaf clover. Oh, that four-leaf clover is... The symbol of Overlord Xenon! Indeed. You are not as ignorant as your garb and demeanor suggest. This emblem is the ultimate proof of my heritage. It is the bond between our souls as father and daughter. The four-leaf clover is the mark of Xenon. The three-leaf clover is the mark of Xenon's curse that we all bear. Unlike ours, it is said that only those close to Xenon himself bear the mark of the four-leaf clover. It looks like she really is his daughter. See, Adele? This is great! We can use her as a hostage! Oh! <laughs> Are you nuts? This isn't good at all. Me? A hostage? Don't be absurd. I simply am not hostage material. Uh uh oh, but we performed the ritual. In the name of Adele, I summon Xenon. Mm -hmm. Those are the terms. Until Adele meets Overlord Xenon, your highness is bound by the ritual to stay by Adele's side. You can't disregard these conditions, can you? <laughs> Stupid summoning rituals. Yeah. <laughs> Not even I can disregard the terms of a summoning ritual. However unpleasant, there is nothing I can do. Whoa, 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 wait! You're kidding, right? You don't really expect me to go out looking for Xenon with her, do you? What's the problem? Be a man! You can't give up now. What about all that fair fight nonsense? Okay, so... Now we are in Holt Village, and you can already tell that this place is much bigger than uh, Axel Modes, and everyone is more spread out, and the buttons for the, uh, um, for the Dark World are all around this place. So, uh, we have, oh, no, huh, cool. I guess if you unlock it in uh, one, you unlock it in the other, which is good slash bad. Uh, hello, Dark Secretary. Ah, oh, sweet. I can already use the assembly. Okay, so I should probably change, arrange the people. Uh, manually. What? So basically, I'm just going to try and not use any of my super overpowered people. Um... I'm actually just going to hard get rid of some. Uh, delete. I don't need. Um, delete. I don't need you. Delete. I don't need you. And so my goal is to never have to use any of these guys because I feel like they're rather overpowered with their equipment at least. Of course, I'm going to put good equipment on these guys, but that's beside the point. Um, cloth, goddess, um, let's move, put your move up, and we can put a dark rosary on you. 
Yeah, BB gun. Uh, nope. Okay, Imperial Seal. Um, guess I'll give you some brawny muscle. Because these guys aren't going to get levels as fast. Uh, simply because of... Oh, that's what I should do. I should also... Uh, nope. I'll equip that. I'm going to equip the thing as that might be useful for other people. Okay. Okay. And give her providence. Because she uses guns. Um, status. A uh, young warrior who swore to defeat Xenon deals more damage to stronger enemies. And that's by level, not by stats. Um, he's obviously a fist character, much like Axel. Which is uh, unique, because most... Um, Skya heroes are more sword proficient, or at least dual sword proficient and fist proficient. Overlord Zan's only daughter, haughty and arrogant, powers up male units, and specializes in gun, and uh, has equal in bow and staff. So I wish I was able to get a better gun itself, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, I wonder, did it carry over? Okay, it did. So. If I so wished, I could buy a better gun. Of course, that would probably use, like, all of my money, so I will not. Um, and we have Taro, Adele's brother, Hanko, Adele's sister, uh, dad, Adele's dad, and mom, Adele's mom. And if you'll remember, she called him Tardo uh, for uh, retard, but because it's Taro. Uh, this game was old. It may have been before everyone was like, oh, don't say things that even, like, remotely uh, relate to retard, but whatever. Uh, and I believe because I did, uh... Hello, Hello. Hello. <laughs> Fucking phone, man. And I forgot to silence it and put it on my bed. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, I apologize if that was loud. Um, I think because I did uh, Axel mode first, uh, everything is already unlocked in Adele mode, which is nice. Um, and we have another world hospital. Do that, get everyone their health back. Um, yeah. So, uh, actually, let's check. Hmm. So this is what the outside world is like. The outside world? What the hell are you talking about? Where are you from? My mansion, of course. It is located somewhere in the land of Veldheim. What? You don't know where it is? Well, that summon of yours is quite jarring. And truth be told, I have never been outside the mansion before. What? Are you serious? What kind of life can you live without ever going outside? Hmm. I shall grant your request and tell you all about the superior lifestyle of a noble. The standard recital takes two whole days. Forget that! Look, all I want is for you to cooperate, okay? Cooperate? Let me make this perfectly clear. I will not abide being taken hostage. Look, that's fine. I wasn't going to do that anyway. Then what are you going to do? I'm going to take you back to Xenon. Back to your father. What? Why would you do such a thing? Are we not enemies, you and I? Do you expect me to believe you? Look, Princess, I only have one goal in mind. To defeat Overlord Xenon. After that, I won't need you anymore. But... I do need you to guide me there. What did you just say? You are going to defeat my father? Yeah. Why? What's wrong with that? <laughs> are you insane? You are but a mere human simpleton who does not know his place. My father has slaughtered 1,000 overlords. He is known as the god of all overlords. How are you going to defeat him? Go ahead and laugh, but I will be the one to defeat Xenon. Well, you sure are confident. I see. You are planning to use me as a hostage to threaten my father. I already told you, I'm not going to take you hostage. Especially since you're a girl. Then what was the point of summoning me if you will not take me hostage? I have better ways to waste my time. We were trying to summon Xenon, but... Uh, no, there's no excuse for it. I apologize for summoning you. I'm sorry. What? Hey, hey, don't come any closer. I don't really like girls. 
to admit one's own mistakes. You are truly honest, especially for an enemy. Okay, look, I will keep my promise. I will return you to your father. I pledge my honor on it. I still do not trust you. If you are truly honorable, why not simply release me? If it was that simple, I would have done so already. But breaking the terms of a summon requires the sacrifice of a life. My life. Your life? Very well. You do appear truthful. I shall escort you to my father's mansion. Okay. Um, town fields. Okay, so that's all those. And then we have, uh, I believe, Dia DLC. So, uh, I'm going to do these. Uh, and I believe the strongest guy is one of the ones that I want to do first. Now, I've been waiting for you, brother. Welcome to Hanukkah's summoning experiments. Hanukkah, I thought Mom was going to summon a lot of strong monsters. <laughs> I'm calling BS. Otherwise, you wouldn't have come. It's sad to have such a big liar for a younger sister. Demons are supposed to lie. I see that Hanukkah's growth is very promising. That's not a good thing, so what's your problem, Hanukkah? Thanks for asking. I have good news for a fighting freak like you. Fighting freak, ham. Hey, fighting to save this family, and this is how you treat me? I see you learn some summoning techniques from Mom's books. I know I have self credited master's degree in summoning. I can summon all kinds of strong monsters to help you. I just want to help my older brother. What do I have to do to make you happy? It sounds to me like you are showing fealty to an older sibling. That is most commendable, Hanukkah. Uh, I know you want to help me and all, but why is this mode called Experiments? Haha, <laughs> I knew you are pretty sharp. What difference does it make? Men aren't supposed to worry about the fine details like that. Don't worry about it, and just let it be. Uh, one more thing that's deceiving you. That's what true men do, do you know? So you're saying I'm constantly being deceived. A man is always deceived by a woman. That is the fate of all men. Simply accept it and move on. Uh, she's right, you know. Okay, let's begin the experiments. Uh, what is that smell? I can't believe such a foul odor is even possible to achieve. It feels like my nose is trying to escape my face. Hanukkah, where are you summoning this time? You guys are going to be surprised. So surprised. I'm trying to summon the strongest guy out there. He's strong enough to destroy the world. Hanukkah, what are you talking about? The strongest guy would be my father. Maybe in Veldheim, but there are so many worlds out there. Maybe there's some guy who's stronger than Zenon. Uh, I don't know about that, and I don't want to accept that idea. Are you sure it's safe to summon such a strong guy? Veldheim isn't going to blow up or anything, will it? Sure, it'll be fine. We have you, Adele. God, that thing looks so out of place. It looks like it looks so much more high res than everything else. <laughs> it doesn't guarantee anything. Uh, Hanako. All right, I'm counting on you, big brother. He may look manly, but he's merely an empty-headed ruffian. Hey, Hanako, what are the ingredients? Wasn't it hard to gather them all? Okay, what times nowadays you can buy everything off of an Amazon bee? <laughs> Didn't you know that? <laughs> That's great. They carry everything from demon statues to Majin blood to Metopia chocolate bars. Trust me, they have everything. You have heard of Amazon bee, right? You can get anything from there. It's so convenient. <laughs> you can get anything you want. It sounds like a new era is upon us. Now I'll just add the final ingredient. All right, we're ready to cast the spell. By spears of darkness, light, and soil, I hereby summon the guy who is strong enough to destroy the world. Damn. Aw, oh, yeah, boy. Who's stupid enough to summon me? I know you must be ready to die if you dare to summon me, the invincible gig. Hey, come on, who summoned me? Uh, Adele? 
Let me handle this. I summoned you. You? Ah, oh, I was expecting more of a challenge. You're just a piece of trash. I'm bored already. I don't know why you summoned me. Were you looking for a fight? Then let's get on with it. I'll kill you using only one hand. Bring it on, Motormouth. Okay, so the interesting thing is I wasn't sure whether or not this uh, DLC stuff... Okay, good. So it, uh, one new thing about D uh, Disgaea 2 is that uh, apparently in the PSP version every... Uh, every DLC, Death Skeeter, uh, would be put at level 100 immediately, but this one scales like uh, Disgaea 5 with the chapter you're on. Um, so I wasn't sure if the DLC would be uh, uh, in the manner of um, just being straight out uh, spoilery to the story. Or if it would be more, um, yeah, or if it would be more, uh, like this. Like this one, it seems like it's completely intended, uh, for you to do, like, near immediately, because only Adele and Rosalind are there. Whereas, uh, sort of in Disgaea 5, all the DLC, you could almost tell was meant to be done after the main story, as Kilia was already kind of different. He didn't have the same personality as he did in the main story with uh, the DLC ones. Who are these pieces of garbage? They're totally lame, that's for sure. I went so easy on you, I think I'm going to be sick. And you still barely beat me, scumbags. I only fought you because you summoned me, but this is all you've got. Don't make me laugh or vomit. This world doesn't deserve my gigatude. It was way more fun to destroy worlds with my partner. Maybe I should just destroy this world and fill the seas with blood. What a low-class low. If we continue to allow him to talk, our par our parental level will go up. Uh, we can't have that. We must stop him. Hey, buddy, don't just say don't just say any more naughty words. <laughs> what the hell is that? Well, I gave it a shot. <laughs> Adele, you are hopeless. You know. But <laughs> ah, you people are so boring. Hey, you, send me back to the world I came from. Well, the thing is, I'm still in training. I can only summon you. I can't send you back. Thanks, Adele. You really saved my ass. You summon me, but you can't send me back. Who the hell does that? <laughs> I'll crush this world. You guys are all dead. Is everyone okay? Huh? My attack didn't work. Where did that fearsome energy come from? Razi, that was totally awesome. I didn't know you were so strong. Who the hell are you, anyway? I am Rosalind, the one and only daughter of Overlord Xenon. Overlord Xenon? Never heard of him. Oh, hey, Adele, why don't we ask him to help us defeat Overlord Xenon? In the meantime, I'll continue to train to be a great summoner, then we can send him back when we're done. That's not a bad idea. Okay, I'll ask him. Hey, Gig, was it? If you're so strong, will it help us defeat Overlord Zenon? In order to send you back, I have a lot of preparation to make. At least this way, you won't be as bored. Uh, what? Is this Overlord Zenon dude really that strong? Yeah, in fact, they call him the god of all overlords. What do you say? It'll be fun. <laughs> Sounds like a good time to me. Fine, I'll be your ally and I'll kill this overlord Xenon. Okay, so Gig is cool. What, you better say more than that, generic spiel. The invincible Gig has become an invaluable member of your group, but only because he wants to kill time. <laughs> better. Haha, <laughs> let's have fun, scum. That's great. Uh, I do like how with the DLC there, they're completely fine with... Uh, 
breaking the mold in terms of, uh, like, fourth wall shit. Okay. So, gig. Uh. Chaos. Uh, let's give him cross trainer. Yeah, because his move is not all that good. Um. We can give him some fight muscle. And. Uh, and a bit more SP. Because now look at the status. So he uses monster stuff, a heavenly hammer, that's a master change attack. And he changes into swords. Okay, so let's go heal and do like the first tutorial stage. Might as well uh, like switch between the two. Uh, tutorial one. Even this place is getting overrun with monsters. Is Zenon's curse getting stronger? I better hurry before everyone loses their memories and turns into real monsters. Huh, you fool. Take him to my father? Do you think I would blindly obey you? All enemies shall meet with death. These lowly monsters shall feast on you. Then I shall finally be free of these odious circumstances. <laughs> Critical. Ouch! Critical hit! What are you doing? You dolts! I am the daughter of Overlord Zenon! Such a violent act shall not be forgiven! Trains don't give a fuck. Like we care, dude. Our boss is gonna take out Overlord Zenon. So eat pretty bombs, dude. What did you say? Are you confessing to be lackeys of some charlatan plotting to kill my father? You got it, dude. We're lucky we found you out here, dude. Obviously, we kick their ass. Ah, yes. Excellent plan. However, there is a slight problem. What kind of problem? I... I do not know how to fight. You're joking, right? I do not joke with peasants. Yes. And that's what the tutorial is for. <laughs> to essentially tell you that Rosalind is not all that useful uh, for now. Uh. Oh god. And I'm just doing that because uh, that way they'll both get the experience. Although it is much weaker than uh, his normal uh, move set. And I guess I should probably. God, that sword looks so cool. Um, setting uh, LIFX on. There. That way we can actually see what happens. Cool. Uh, no, do not skip the story. Okay. So why are you so weak? I mean, you are Overlord Zenon's daughter, right? S Silence! I am the daughter of the legendary Overlord Zenon, but I have never had to fight before. 
Not even once! I lived in a beautiful mansion with hundreds of servants and everything I ever wanted. So why would I ever need to learn to fight? Fighting is for the lower classes. It is our duty as nobles to use those fights to improve our kingdom and subjects. So, you're the overlord's precious spoiled daughter. How cliche. But, you must be very important to him. That's right, I am. My father cherishes me. Is it not the same with humans? That is what I have read in my textbooks. Parental love, family love. Were my textbooks wrong? No, they got it right. I'm fighting for my family too. Okay. So with that, I'm going to end episode one here as uh, we are already at the half hour mark. So with that, I hope you all have a very nice day and will join me in the next episode. Bye.